supposed to be. They just want to play, bro. Just, just let them play yeah, Smashy Bros. All, they don't care. They, they want to play. They're yeah. trying to win. So, <laughs> Syrup's up 1-0. Yes. Uh, just to let people know, uh, it was a close game from what I saw. It was last stock both times, but I was too busy watching the reel, so I didn't catch what exactly happened. But, hey, this is something you, you see so often at Zeno. Yeah, and, I, you know, a little bit of water in my eyes. I couldn't really see everything was going on. So, you know. We're back over here. We are on Found Destination, however, and against someone like Steve, a little bit more tricky. We have the blocks to kind of make pseudo platforms at the very least for yourself. So for Steve, is this truly FD? A little bit more different for them. For for Mr. E on the Lucina, I'm very excited to see what a no platform uh, stage would look like in this matchup between her, uh, between him and of course Steve. Yeah, in E's hands, this is a paradise. Like it does not matter how many blocks get put out by Syrup, or in what position. He's going to be able to react. He has all the space in the world just to push Steve out and make it just one giant ledge situation. Which is a situation to say that Lucina is always very comfortable in and one where Mr. E is always proficient in. I think Mr. E should just play Steve. I, I honestly, I think Eric that is a nuclear hot go, take. Go to the <laughs> <laughs> Piping but, even. Yeah. Okay. Homie, I mean, it's a sword user, right? You come in, you have the pickaxe ready to rock. What more could you ask for in this character? We've seen the Ditto so often. I mean, Eric could just do it himself. I'm flabbergasted today. We, at that point, Eric will become Steve. Why yeah. not Eric will become Steve? Don't say yeah. It could be. I cannot imagine. There's a world. Uh, speaking as someone who has seen Mr. E play other characters, I cannot Mars? imagine him. <laughs> wow. All right, you're not wrong. But I can never imagine E playing anyone besides Lucina in this game, especially on FD. And a game like this will show you why. Oh, I... Is that why? Yo, he really done. almost did it too. Is that why? I, he, hate, I hate guessing up New York. you always do this. He I'm had the idea. No, I know what you mean. He had the <laughs> idea of trying to weave around towards the right side of those blocks. But I mean, you know... Yo, Tri-State players are some ass sometimes. <laughs> Let me tell you, they will beat anyone and everyone in the world. And then when you try to guess them up and have live recorded footage of you guessing them up, they will die, they hey. will perish, and most importantly, they will lose when you say they will win. Hey, she deserves it, man. She's got a really good recovery with that upbeat. It's super fast. Those blocks are going to stop you in your tracks, right? Damn, you're right. But you're Eric, completely right. Mr. E's still up like by a long shot. All he needs is just one more setup, maybe like a down air and up air to set up into like a something else right afterwards, or just a raw F smash. We've seen Eric do those before. That's also true. You Absolutely. do be pressing the button. I'm he sorry. I can't call him Mystery. I don't. I just. I've known this guy for ten years. I, I just can't, dude. <laughs> He's Eric forever. Look at him. He's still a kid. He's still a kid. I don't care. How old is he now? Like, 28, 29? He old. I know him since he was like 18, bro. Like <laughs> you too. You too, young, and you're old too. Well, when was your first? You know, mine was a August 2022 Xeno Saga. I'm not Ooh. sure which one it was though. Wait, post COVID? Yes. Oh. Everyone thinks I. Like, been here since oh, pre-COVID, and I was not. All right, you might not be old. Hold on. I'm baby. Oh, yo, you I was. Oh, you don't know. Uh, <sighs> God damn it, Mott. I was, Mott I was is a decade younger than me yes. to the day. To the day. Oh, that's to hype. The day. That's, hey, that's a fun that's fact. That's hype? Wait, okay, that's yeah. a scene of March fun six, fact. March 16th. <laughs> I think it's a little exciting. <laughs> 9202. I'm not excited about that in the <laughs> It's really fun. Our birthday is matched up. I'm like, oh my god, happy birthday. And he's like, yes, I was hi. trying to figure out what my first Xeno is. I, I, st I can't recall. I can easily. Which, oh, well, Xeno 1. Well. well <laughs> all right, buddy. Mine De was the one in August 2022. Devin's keeping yeah. count for you. That's cheating. The thing <laughs> wow. Yeah. So, like, Devin likes to claim credit for this, but I was the reason Xenos are on Wednesdays. Wow. Xeno 1 I don't think I would claim credit. I, you were definitely a part of that. Xeno 1 was on a Saturday. Yes, and we it was started, monthly. We started a monthly. And then we're like, yes. dude, let's make this a weekly. But we can't do Tuesdays because... Xanadu. Xanadu's Tuesday. Ah, and true. we can't do Thursdays because uh, that the, Texas tournament. Uh, I don't think there was any... No, no, no it was the oh, Texas tournament. Uh, um, like Tourney Locator? Turn, yeah, Tourney Locator used to have a very popular weekly on Thursdays. It's no longer there. So we're just like, oh. I guess Wednesdays, since you know Mondays and Fridays are bad because you have to travel for tournaments, so... Yeah. Thus, the Wednesday weekly was born. And then HBox came in and ruined it. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, Not his fault. He didn't know. Well, he just decided to make a tournament on Wednesday. <laughs> and then our one came over again. And then, you know, now we're here. Zero 351, we're dying. For Thanks, HBox. You killed us. <laughs> it's, it's not Whoa. like there was a weekly during, during COVID. So, yes. You know, Technically, yes. Uh. 
<laughs> great times. Great times on Kalos, may I say, also. Oh, never For mind. Who? I'm just <laughs> you see? This is what I mean! Anytime you guys talk about the mash, it's just gonna lead into bad luck, you know? That's why I'm trying to keep it free. They got the cloud <laughs> shoes on extra tight just in case! I feel bad. Just for the no. chance they want Doesn't us to happen. commentate a real game! Me when I speak and then nothing goes right and you, I gotta go cry at night. It's okay. <laughs> See, I'm, I'm scared. I'm, ha I'm happy that happened, to be honest. <laughs> that makes it an even game, you know? Look how even it is. It's 40, 50. Okay, it's gone. It's gone. Getting out of haywire here, obviously. <laughs> And none of this would be happening if Mr. E just played Steve, you know? Like, I'm saying. We need three, if we had three Steve's no, in the top you know what? four. I'm following this logic. You see, Syrup lost the Steve's Ditto in the winner's Yes, side. this is actually very true. So what if you just lost the Steve's Ditto in the loser's side? Oh, he's on to something. I'm just making shit I up. like I watching the real time, <laughs> like, shift in you from, mm. that's a nuclear take to, actually? Because... You see, may be he's cooking. He, he's telling nothing but lies. But when I try to discredit <laughs> them, really good someone at be exploding. I was really good at Among Us. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right, talking about a real pandemic game now. <laughs> Jeez. All right, fade away. Ooh, loop around. All right, this is the part where we talk about the game, and then someone does something really dumb, and then explodes for it. Hold on, we're getting there. We're getting there. You jump back to platform. Great, good for you, Mr. E. Then my card is not in your favor. That's great. And now what do we do? Little spot dodge. Great. No one explode this time. All right, so, you're right. So Nair 1 is a really good combo starter for Lucina. Obviously, you can pop them up and go for like a combo right afterwards. Yeah. Mystery was in a weird spot for them. You to get something, but the fadeaway forward air is really good at getting edge guards and just getting... It covers a so much space. Mm -hmm. Easy peasy. Especially when you consider what Steve's uh, options are when Steve is facing you specifically. Like... Like Steve's directly like, facing you? Or? Yeah, like, like Steve having to put effort in, well, in front of you doesn't necessarily have a lot of good defensive options to having to deal with Lucina just putting hitbox. Just put a block. You. you know what I want drop, to Drop 5 million blocks just right there. You <laughs> spend all your resources, bro. What I want to compliment really fast is that What's Mr. Up? E has completely negated these any type of diamond until right now. You know, completely interrupting. Oh, you're dead. <laughs> I'm so. You know what? It's. You know what? Whatever. Mr. E, you, you did a great thing up until you died right there, but at the same time. I was gonna say it was you know a little bit even, a little bit better for Mr. E, but then it became very even very no, quickly. It, it truly is like on a timer. You start complimenting the player, and then they erupt to the flames. And you gotta remember that Mr. E has been ending these Zenos for so long, so this one would mean so much to him to be able to get onto the bracket. Oh, I didn't Sir forget. kind of being the new blood, Mr. E being the old blood. So oh, at yep. this point, when it's down to the wire this hard, and it's starting to become a little bit difficult for Mr. E to get back onto the stage. Obstacle for the double jump, gonna catch him from right below the platform. Try to catch out another jump, kills him with a back air, a little bit anticlimactic, and that's gonna be Mr. E's final Zeno. Run fourth place finish for Mr. E out of 161 people. Can't sneeze yes. at that. Yeah, no, that's that's still amazing. Fantastic. Yeah, at a local, by the way, local. Yeah, you know, just a casual local that casual. hits, you know, 160 numbers has the kind of turnout. For pre COVID, we like, this was normal. This, this was, was normal. This used to be a norm. Yeah, oh, especially when Ultimate was new. Both the numbers and the talent caliber. Yeah, when you consider like all of the people like, would how, travel here. People make pil pilgrimages to Zeno. <laughs> <laughs> the Xeno pilgrimage. Like actual, <laughs> a little quite hodge. literally. A little high. <laughs> brought in a Final Fantasy X pilgrimage real quick, you know. You gotta bring your guardians with you, which is like your your carpool. <laughs> <laughs> they all came with like a Crazy bag with the, with the, the stick and they're, the they're, they're chilling here. Who's the racist of the carpool? Uh, <laughs> oh my god. It's not Kirby, but it's Kirby. Kirby's the racist of the carpool? <laughs> no way, in the camera. <laughs> Damn. Wait, Devin, is this the same one from Xeno 1? Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. I so, said, yeah, like I was there. <laughs> so when uh, Xeno 1 happened, so we've had three different venues, right? Uh, yes. Xeno 1, we were in the sauna. Because in the background, the it was just a wooden, it was wooden. So it just looked yeah. like you were 